Welcome back. I hope you took on the challenge of creating a torch tensor of zeros of your own size and ones of your own size. But now let's investigate how we might create a range of tensors and tensors like. So these are two other very common methods of creating tensors. So let's start by creating a range. So we'll first use torch.range because depending on when you're watching this video, torch.range may be still in play or it may be deprecated. If we write in torch.range right now with the PyTorch version that I'm using, which is torch.version, which is torch or PyTorch 1.10.0, torch range is deprecated and will be removed in a future release. So just keep that in mind. If you come across some code that's using torch.range, maybe out of whack, so the way to get around that is to fix that is to use a range instead. And if we just write in torch.a range, we've got tensors of zero to nine because it of course starts at zero index. If we wanted one to 10, we could go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And we can go zero or we go one, two, 10 equals torch a range. Wonderful, and we can also define the step. So let's let's type in some start, and where can we find the documentation on a range? Sometimes in Google Colab you can press Shift Tab, but I find that it doesn't always work for me. Yeah, you could hover over it, but we could also just go Torch a range and look for the documentation. Torch a range. So we've got start and step. Let's see what all of these three do. Maybe we start at zero and maybe we want it to go to a thousand. And then we want a step of what should our step be? What's a fun number? 77. So it's not one to 10 anymore, but here we go. We've got start at zero, 77 plus 77 plus 77 plus 77, all the way up to it finishes at a thousand. So if we wanted to take it back to one to 10, we can go up here. 1, 10, and the default step is going to be 1. Oops, we needed the end to be, it's going to finish at end minus 1. There we go, beautiful. Now, we can also create tensors like. So, creating tensors like. So, tensors like is, say you had a, a particular shape of a tensor you wanted to replicate somewhere else, but you didn't want to explicitly define what that shape should be. So what's the shape of one to 10? One to 10. Now, if we wanted to create a tensor full of zeros that had the same shape as this, we can use tensor like or zeros like. So 10 zeros, zeros equals, I'm not even sure if I'm spelling zeros right then, zeros. Well, I might have a typo spelling zeros here, but you get what I'm saying is torch, zeros oh torch spell it like that that's why i'm spelling it like that zeros like one to ten and then the input is going to be one to ten and we have a look at ten zeros my goodness this is taking quite the while to run this is troubleshooting on the fly if something's happening like this you can try to stop if something was happening like that you can click run and then stop. Well, it's running so fast that I can't click stop. If you do also run into trouble, you can go runtime, restart runtime. We might just do that now just to show you. Restart and run all is going to restart the compute engine behind the Colab notebook and run all the cells to where we are. So let's just see that. Restart and run runtime. If you're getting errors, sometimes this helps. There is no set in stone way to troubleshoot errors. It's guess and check with this. So there we go. We've created 10 zeros, which is torch zeros like our one to 10 tensor. So we've got zeros in the same shape as one to 10. So if you'd like to create tensors, use torch a range and get deprecated message. Use torch a range instead for creating a range of tensors with a start an end and a step. And then if you wanted to create tensors or a tensor like something else, you want to look for the like method. And then you put an input, which is another tensor, 
and then it'll create a similar tensor with whatever this method here is like in that fashion or in the same shape as your input. So with that being said, give that a try, create a range of tensors and then try to replicate that range shape that you've made with zeros. I'll see you in the next video.